Hi book friends, I'm Erin and this is Erin Go Read. This is my May TBR. These are the books that I hope to plan to read in May. I'm actually coming to you from the future uh, in the editing process. I was actually in the middle of filming a vlog when I did this TBR, but it was going to be way too long to include in the vlog. So you can look forward to a vlog in a few days where I primarily read My Name is Lucy Barton as well as finishing up This Tender Land on audiobook and I start reading a couple of these books just the very beginnings. For now, I'll send you back to the past. Then on to the books that I would like to read in May. The first one is a bit of a fail because I wanted to read the second book in the Farseer trilogy, the book after Assassin's Apprentice. And then just as I was pulling this together, I realized that Assassin's Quest is book three, not book two. So I will not be continuing on with the Farseer tri trilogy this month. I will need to get my hands on, these are the British editions, the UK editions, which are amazing. And I feel like if you're gonna, re if you're gonna read them, you might as well get these editions because they're amazing. So that's sad. So, but at least it's one less chunky book to read. But since I am feeling a little, for a little bit of a fantasy flavor, I just picked up uh, The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. It was kind of a, an impulse buy when I went to Half Price Books to look for a, an edition of Heidi, there was a whole like Neil Gaiman on the end cap deal. And so I ended up going with that. I really don't know anything about it. I know it's, um I think it's maybe like a middle grade even, middle grade to YA. And it's supposed to be really magical and I've heard nothing but good things about it. And um yeah, like a short fantasy. And yeah, where, are there page numbers somewhere? Page numbers, page numbers. Oh, there we go. That was sneak peek into something else. 239 pages. So not bad because this next book is a chunker. I would love to read East of Eden by, I almost said Neil Steinbeck, John Steinbeck. This is a chunky boy. And this one is almost 600 pages. This was one on my, oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. Feeling of needing to sneeze and you can't sneeze is so frustrating. It's like someone's like pulling on the inside of my nose, like through my left eyeball. Anyway, this is one on one of my on my spring TBR books that I would like to get to, and it's just been on my TBR for a long time. This is one. This is on the PBS Great American Le PBS. This is on the PBS Great American Reads list, and I bought it for that reason. And then I have the other editions that that look like this, The Grapes of Wrath and Cannery Row, and I don't have Of Mice and Men in this edition. But I actually don't know much or anything about this, but I live in Northern California, and the very first sentence is, the Salinas Valley is in Northern California. I agree, the Salinas Valley is in Northern California. It's a long, narrow swale between two ranges of mountain. The Salinas River winds and twists up, up the center until it falls at last into Monterey Bay. Cannery Row is set in Monterey. So yeah, a nice um, ode to Northern California, maybe? I'm not sure, no idea. Maybe it, maybe it says terrible things about Northern California, I don't know. Then we have Ordinary Girls by Jacuri Diaz. This is a memoir of a um, woman from Puerto Rico. And I just want to get my, get my brain into a memoir, somebody else's memoir, as I am working on mine. And then we have Damnation Spring by Ash Davidson. And I just, I love this cover. I hope I really like this because I like this cover so much. And then the Naked Hardback, which I always read without the dust jacket on. It's this beautiful green color. Do I have end papers? No, just white. So this also takes place, I believe, in Northern California. Uh, yeah, in the Redwoods. California's rugged coast. Yeah, the Redwood Forest, and it's about a husband and wife. The husband is a logger. They're trying to have a baby, and the wife's been having problems, and, um, like, could, could the logging industry, um, 
be in part responsible for the uh like the herbicides and stuff like that be partly responsible for the reason that she's she's ill or she's not able to have a baby that kind of thing so these are the books that i plan on reading in the month of may love to know have you read east of eden what are your john steinbeck thoughts do you have a favorite um have you read any of the rest of these or do you plan to thank you for watching see you around the tubes